easy going world welcome back to nomadius the name i chose is thaddeus it's a beautiful day here in parita i'm at the beach once again thank you so much for tuning in to the first episode of the human nature podcast where i'm overqualified to discuss these topics of life because i'm an exquisite human being and here with me is my guest master david love who is an exquisite powerful energetic human being how you feeling on this blessed morning my man always blessed man every day i get to take a breath i'm blessed you feel it already you feel the energy so you know i ran into master david love here uh, at the coco mar hotel and it's been a blessing so far and you know just as i perceived him and as other people perceive him you might have a different picture of black people everywhere you go. So as I got to know this man, I was very interested in his story. And so first, uh, Master Love, where are you from? Actually, I reside in uh, Orlando. Um, that's where I came from. My dad was in the military, so i pretty much from all over the place. And so coming from Florida, well, what, do you, what did you do there? I had my own martial arts school. Uh, I was a life coach. And I work with uh, a lot with children, domestic violent victim, uh, bully, anti-bullying. So just work with just empowering people. And so what do you do now here in Costa Rica? Actually, I just enjoy the nature in Costa Rica. Enjoy the disconnect from the U.S., the real world. (laughs) (laughs) I feel that. And so... Uh, what's your passion, actually? Something I've been very interested in, too. As, you know, we've been doing a lot of workouts here, and me and uh, Master Love and a couple other folks, we did a Tai Chi session here in the water. So I'm interested specifically, like, what are your passions? Uh, actually, my passion is self. Teaching people, being aware about self. Being one with yourself, empowering yourself, being disconnected, learning to have that live in the moment. The only thing that matters is the moment. Not the past, not the future, but the moment. And can I live each moment to the fullest? That's my passion. It's just to live each moment free, because I'm free, my mind is free, and just enjoy every moment. So, you know, being aware that you are a black melanated being, what's life been like here for you in uh, Costa Rica? very very peaceful this is one of the places i come um everybody is so humble so nice and the way we're treated is just amazing you're not treated by the color of my skin you're treated by what i give out which is love and love is received back they don't see my skin color at all and it's a beautiful thing so what uh what challenges maybe have you faced or problems being a black man here in Costa Rica? Actually, none. To be honest with you, none. Yeah. No problems, no challenges, nothing. It's just uh, being here in Costa Rica, the black man is admired very deeply. Our style. What? Why is that? Our style, I mean, because most people here look at us as very powerful, very talented, very energetic, very athletic. So... It's like more or less a lot of people want to be black. It's weird. A lot of guys here wish they were black because they listen to our music and our culture and they think it's cool. Yeah. You know? So they don't know the struggle yeah. of the black man, which I can't even say a struggle because it's not even a struggle. It's just beautiful being us. Yeah. I just put it like that because yeah. there ain't no struggle to being black. It's beautiful being black. But it's, it's no struggle here at all. None. Have no problems here at all. No. I mean... A lot of times I might, we get run into a American to come here and treat the locals bad, and I kind of stick up for them. But yeah. me personally, not. Nah, and you know, I'm, I walk blessed, so I don't bring into the negativity because I don't send out negativity. You remember what you told me yesterday about bad energy? Could you tell the people about that again? Bad energy. Yeah, you mentioned that. You know, at least for myself. I'm someone who doesn't put out bad energy, so I'm not I'm not attracting that to myself. Would you say you go through the same thing here? Yeah, yeah. I think that was in in 
if you go looking for trouble, you'll find trouble, yeah. pretty much. If you walk around with a bad energy, negative energy, you're telling the universe that's what you want to yourself. So if you're in a bad mood, you're going to get bad moods happening to you. Yeah. Like myself, I never say I have a bad day. I say I have a good day, which usually I have an extraordinary day, a wonderful day. But you notice I don't say bad. So they say, how are you doing today? I'm good. Usually I'm excited. I'm ex- you know, my day is wonderful, great, but still good. So I can't associate with bad. I can't associate with negativity at all. That's just it. That's not even something I'm, I, I have in my existence. So would you say you put out you put out a lot of love out there, and that's what you get. That's what you get in return. Well, actually, I put out a lot of love because my last name is Love. Oh yeah, speak on that. Yeah, but just because you put out love, don't mean love's gonna come back. But it's not. I'm not putting it out there to get it back. What I put out there is unconditional. I have no conditions on what I put back. If I say I'm doing this because I want this back, then I have a condition. Yeah. I'm doing it for a reason. Reason is just, this is who I am. I'm an extraterrestrial being that just fill with life and love. And this melanin we have, we're supposed to love. Because that's all we do anyway is we love. So uh, I know that people are uh, at home are probably wondering, why am I calling you Master Love? Actually, because my background in martial arts have been doing it for over 50 years. Started when I was five years old. Started when I was five years old. I'm a seventh degree black belt. I've been inducted to like four martial arts hall of fame. So that's the word he chose to call me. It was Master Love. Not as I'm his master, but a title in martial arts because I'm a master at my technique. I'm a master at my work. I have mastered my mindset. I have mastered my body. I have mastered my soul. So therefore, when it comes to what I do, I'm a master at it. And uh, it's, do you believe it's true that it takes over 10,000 hours to be considered a master in anything that you're doing? Um, I don't know who said that because I don't follow people. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. If somebody gave me that and wrote that in the book, that's their perspective. And I can't go on somebody else's perspective. I just know me is my perfection is when I am uncomfortable in what I'm doing and I perfect it to myself. I can't tell you what perfection is for anybody else, but for me... I don't cheat myself. And when you don't cheat yourself, you become a master at it. Because I don't cheat me. I give me the best of the best. That's it. I can't be raised on, hey, you're good, you're not good. This person say, Cause no, 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 no. doesn't matter what somebody else say. What matters is what you think and what you feel. So you said your passion is love. I mean, your passion is self. And you're really about love. So how did you learn to develop self-love for the young people watching? Actually, you know what? Actually, sorry to say that. I know there's a lot of people. There you go. It's you know, it doesn't have to be the young people. Actually, I know a lot of young people that love themselves more than a lot of the older people. So, for the folks watching, how did you develop that self-love in your journey as you moved through the world, starting in Florida and now here in Costa Rica? Because for me, I know that different spaces will take you to different places. And what you did in your last place may not work in this new space. So how did you develop self-love to work for you and wherever you, that you go? Actually, I've, to be honest with you, I always had self-love for myself. I was taught that, shown that as I was brought up. And then knowing me and being a black man in America, which they told us we're not anything. And every time you see anything about black, it's bad. Yeah. And you can get caught up in that thinking you're bad all the time. But when you start meditating within yourself, you, you'll find out who you are. And it's like... When you love yourself, you achieve anything and everything because it's about you. And I love myself because I keep myself in shape. I keep my body, mind, body, and spirit because we walk in spirit now. We're not in soul. So mind, body, and spirit has to be on point. What I put into my body, everything, not just food. Everything you put into your body affects your body. So how much do you love yourself? And loving yourself is taking care of yourself, making sure you feel good all over and that's just it so and then coming here completely disconnected me from everything social media the news anything and it's nothing but nature out here so it makes you disconnect to reconnect and you lose yourself but then you find yourself again and it's very very powerful because it's quiet only thing you hear is this beautiful ocean and there's nothing man-made around here
So it helps you to do what monks do all the time, pretty much. What do monks do all the time? Because monks always become very spiritual, but it's easy to be spiritual if you're in a mountain, not surrounded by anything. Yeah. It's easy to be enlightened because you're not, you're not around it. Be enlightened around in the middle of chaos. You want to be powerful? Meditate when there is chaos around you. Meditate when there's everything going on. When you do that, then you are enlightened. I'm not taking anything away from the monks, but if we go close ourselves off, hey, you have no distraction. Yeah. That's cool. But when you're distraction, you're distracting. You can take yourself and just like become one with yourself and don't worry about the outside world. Now we have power. You see what my shirt says? Human is a state of mind. Human is a state of mind. It is. It's a state of mind. My state of mind is empty. Yeah, I think it's very coincidental that, you know, the podcast you're on right now is a human nature podcast and you got the human state of mind. Oh, damn. And I don't, I don't believe in, in coincidences. Everything happens in divine timing. Wow. So, you know, my thing about human nature is that I think we overlook, you know, we say man-made, but man is a part of nature. So, as we create, we are, as long as we're in tune with that human state of mind, we're creating in the divine power. And I feel that, you know, a lot of the things that we go through as a society, at least the challenges, is because we're so disconnected from our human nature, and our human nature is what connects us to one another. It's what brings that empathy. It's what brings that compassion for us to care for one another. And so... I was on an interview once and they asked me, what is my message to the world? And it was about understanding our individuality as human beings for us to come back. And once you establish your individuality, you can join society as an individual strong self. So looking into human nature, like what does human nature mean to you? Uh, human nature, that's, that's funny. Human. Hu, then man. He was the being, man is the man part, so it's a human being. Human nature is what you're taught naturally what you do. You know, okay, so it's weird because you've been taught so many things. You've been taught everything. I mean, you've been taught what to eat, when to sleep, how to dress, boom. So really, you don't have your human nature. What you have is a controlled nature by man. So where's the, where's the nature part? doesn't exist. Until you disconnect from what man has put into your, your mindset. And the minute you take that out, then you start having human nature. Because our human ability is natural love, peace, harmony. Because that's what we put on here to do. It's to love your neighbor, love everybody. No judgmental, but nobody's really doing that. But then they are doing that. It's just the massive... Show us that there's a destruction area. But there's a lot more love and peace in the world than people think. It's just not shown. Why do I want to show you that? Divide and conquer. If I keep you divided, race, size, class, boom, boom, gender, okay, nobody gets along. But there's so much love. It's not a color thing. It's a being thing. And when you wake up, when you wake up and stop being, I call it a sleepwalker. When you wake up and stop being a sleepwalker, then you know that there's love everywhere. And, we, and it's stronger than what they promote. That's why they promote it. Because they know the truth is there's a lot more love in the world. So I have to keep promoting this bad. You turn on the TV, you look on social media. Somebody's killing, somebody's shooting, somebody's hitting. What about the people that do good? What about the people that's loving? What about the people that's helping? There's a lot of that. But if I show you that, if they show us that, then, man, this world will be a beautiful place, man. Because it is a beautiful place. It's just they don't show that. Look around oh man, look at this. This is this is man having put their hands out here. Look at the scholar Macross. Look at the look at the man, birds up there. Oh, right there. Oh wow. The colorful birds. Man. Look at that. The scholar Macross. It's an energetic day today. Look at them right there. And they're still flying. And they they go in twos, but see, when you unlock, like this young man, is a beautiful young man. You. Right here. He reminds me of my own son. Thank you. The thing is, it's not your job to change the world. It's your job to change the world as you see it. And when you change the world as you see it, you're going to pass it forward to everybody to come in touch with you. So now what you're doing, you're creating a new world. And the thing is to create a new world under the radar because you go over the radar, they're going to stop it. 
they're, gonna let, they're not going to let you pass love and share love and share good. They're not. So when you do it under radar in this small way, by the time they found it, it's too late. It's a new colony. There's a new love out there. There's a new love that's promoted. And we do it everything under the radar. That's it, because that's the most powerful thing. It's to be loud here. When I, yet, when I met this young man, this is how we started. By meeting him, he's going to go pass it forward and pass it forward and pass it forward. And guess what? They can't stop that. They can't, can't stop, stop that. Can't, can't stop, stop the love, can't Master Love. You can't stop the love, man. So one thing that's been pondering with me lately is like, people, people love fear, but also people fear love. Why? Are, why are we stuck in this loop? Okay, because love. Now you got different kind of love. Now we got ego love. Ego love. If you ever look up ego, ego love is you loving with your ego. It's controlled. It's not unconditional. So. They fear it because when you think about love, people hurt you and be like, because I love you. People that have the title, mom, brother, friend, sister, whatever, they hurt you. But it's love. You're like, oh, they're supposed to love me. Oh, you're in a relationship. Girl, you love me. I love you. And they hurt you. So now you're fear of that type of ego love. That's not true unconditional love. Completely different. Wake up. Everybody, anytime you telling somebody what they can and cannot do because they love you, that's not true love. That's ego. You're loving with your ego. Come on. Everybody loves with their ego. You got to let that shit go. We don't control anybody. People are free. Be free to just, hey, naturally, if something's for you, it's going to be for you. If not, you got to keep going because this world goes on with you or without you. Yep. Nothing's bigger. Than, <laughs> the world is bigger than everybody, man. And it's just funny. So that's why you're taught fear. If you're a little kid and nobody ever taught you, taught you what the word fear is, you wouldn't have fear. If somebody taught you can't, you can't, you would never say I can't. But you're taught that. If you're saying my stomach hurt, how would you know what that pain is unless you're taught that? So everything has been implemented from here, from ancestors, systematic. So other than that, take a newborn baby doesn't know anything. They're free. They're free. Until you teach them. Until you teach them. My son, I named him Xavier. I didn't name him after me. I wanted this cat, I wanted to, hit, to see what he knows how to do. So through life, I guided him and let him make his own decision when he was a little kid, make him do, he's very, very well respectful. But he, I, I watched this dude be an incredible being because I'm like, okay, let me see who you are. Because a baby is still from the spiritual world. They are, they're the closest thing to the spirit world is a baby. They just came into this life, they know nothing, so they're free. They laugh. You're in a playground as a kid. You're in a playground. You say, I can, I'm a superhero today. So you run around acting like a superhero. You have no problems. You like, today I can fly. You shoot the gun and you can do that as a kid. So as a grown up, make this shit your playground. Because when you're little, at the playground, you were invincible, man. You didn't give a shit about nothing. So this shit is my playground. I can do whatever I want, feel whatever I want. And with no regards because this is my playground. Go back to when you were a child. You had no worries. You had no stress. And you just lived freely until the world got a hold of you. It started telling you how to eat, drink, dress, boom, boom, all that shit. Then you became like a sleepwalker. I got to go to school. Got to go to work. Got to go work eight hours a day, seven, six days a week. Take a vacation every other. Dude, you're just a factory worker. Here, I don't care how much money you have. I don't care how big your house is. I don't care how big your car, how many cars you have. You're still enslaved with the system. When you look around here, and this young man's been to a lot of cool, few places, these people, we would think they're poor, but they're not poor. They're rich inside, and they live freely. Yep. Peep game on that. When I was here, I'm like, yo, man, they, they look so poor here. And I'm like, wait a minute. No, they're not poor. They, they, you know, they don't have the problems we have. You know, so that's what it is, man. Man, it's, I, t I told you guys, I told you guys, an exquisite human being right here. Yeah, man, you got, it's, it's like wake up, wake up, wake up to your surroundings, man. Wake up to who you are. Wake up and be proud. Stand your ground to who you are. I don't care what color you are. I don't care what gender you are. I don't care what your pre preference is, sexual preference. It's your business, but be proud. If you're gonna say you're something, just stand your ground at it. Regardless, somebody like it or not, who the hell cares? What somebody think about you is none of your business. I don't give a damn. Don't make a break. It's just, I'm me. You take it, 
or you leave it, okay? That's what I'm saying, man. So, since you came to Costa Rica, what perception about your, or have you had any perception about yourself that's that's changed or evolved? Oh, yeah. Uh, since I came to Costa Rica, I came more in tune with the vibrational megahertz of living. Yeah. Really, I woke up. Yeah. And I wasn't sleep like most people but i i woke up mo on my 50th birthday no because i'm 55 so i'm lying on my, my last birthday you don't look 55 huh y'all <laughs> on my last birthday i came out to this water and i baptized myself in the salt water i took the sand and, and scrubbed my body with the sand then i dished it in this, and i'm like yo and ever since i've been here it's been more enlightened more free more spiritual inclined visionary it just came alive because I'm disconnected from everything. I don't, I don't hear anything that goes over in the other world. Here is so peaceful. So, yo, I evolved and so peaceful and so calm. But the natural being, human, actually came out. You eat, you think, you sleep. Everything is just non-existent. I forget what day it is. I forget what time it is because there's no urgency to know you know something i'm like uh well what, what's today because uh, why do i need to know no it's Be, like being present being present being free i am totally free it's not about materialistic it's not about it's about i am a free being i don't even call myself a man i call myself a being i'm a free being i'm free to think and feel as i want and this place this soil look at this man this this is beautiful it's nothing out here but mother nature and you notice it says mother nature it didn't say father nature it said mother because women are compassionate they're loving they're giving they don't destroy they have compassion they try to fix everything knucklehead men want to destroy everything okay so that's why it says mother nature because it's so beautiful and so loud but it can sting you though don't get it twisted. It's chaotic, but it'll fix too as oh, well, yeah. won't you say? Yeah. It's like a mama. A mama love you, but mama gets you. <laughs> and mama don't play, does she? Mama always say, I brought you into this oh, world, and I'll take, take you out. out. <laughs> what kind of crazy shit is that? Your mama looking at that. Hey, I brought you in this world, I'll take you out. Oh, okay, that's some deadly stuff right But there. you know, actually, that's interesting. It's kind of metaphysical, because if you look at the water right now, the water comes out. And it brought you in and take you out. And it'll take you right back yeah. in. Go boom, boom, and you're gone. And you can't even stop it. You cannot stop that. These waves are so strong sometimes. If you look at the wood, back on the other side, the we have out there, they bring it in. Sometimes I see big old oh, things. Yeah, bring it in. That, all that stuff was not there. Down there? Oh, yeah. When you over there we were at, none yeah. of that was there. I was spotting from the ocean. There, one day you came out there and it was all stacked up there. And then next week it was gone and then it come back. Dude. So that's how powerful this thing is. Yeah. So peaceful. And so deadly at the same time. Like myself. I'm so peaceful and so deadly at the same time. It's just what, what side of the coin you want to get. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. I tell people like this. I can be a weapon for you. I can be a weapon against you. And weapons have no remorse. They don't feel nothing, man. And let's keep it real. And, you know, I'm a protector. You know, but like you said, being here, man, is one of the most enlightening, uplifting things that has happened to me in my 50 some years of being on this earth that's a blessing to know that myself and i'm glad to be able to spread this message so to black people watching this around the world what do you have to say for them to come to costa rica and it doesn't even just have to be in the sense of moving here but just to come and experience the life here i think i think black people all together step outside the step outside the u.s and you'll see a difference because in the U.S. we're treated a certain way, we've seen a certain way, we're taught in certain things, and it's not like that really. When you step outside the U.S., not saying everybody's going to show you love, but you get love shown, and, and people tell you who you really are because how they look at you and how they respect you. I was in Peru, I was in Japan, I've been in Korea, I've been to Germany, I've been all over, and Peru was the most spiritual place I've ever been because the way they look at you over there yeah. is in awe. Of you in what way? And black, they say you're pure. Black is pure that. over there, and it's weird because they just want to come stand beside you and just absorb your melanin, your energy. 
over here so peaceful. So please, black my black folks, I don't care what nationality of black you are, step outside that box. And sometimes it's hard for us to get outside that box and say they don't allow us to. They really don't. Get your passport. You can't get a passport. This, this little things keep you there, enslaved. But if you can get out, take a trip. Take a trip for like a couple days and you'll see that you come in like, wow. You will say, what well, this is what life is truly about, not what they keep showing us. It, it's not like that. Because they systematically is messing with you. Completely. You know, we're fighting the fight. What fight are you fighting? Tri- Honestly, what fight are you fighting? They're keeping you from yourself. How do you detain anybody? Keep them preoccupied. It's what the masses do all the time. They make some crazy shit happen. And their mindset goes over here. Why this is happening over here? All the time. Yo, hey, wake up, my people. Yo, wake up, everybody. No more sleeping in bed. Marvin Gaye, baby. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's an old school for your old head. I don't know if you, you young babies know, how, know anything about that, okay? All right, we know something about that over here. I don't know. Y'all be like little baby, little tiny, little pee pee. Oh, no, no, no. All the littles and little babies and scrubby scrum. <laughs> I don't know. Scooby, Scooby Doo. I don't know shit. <laughs> Scooby Doo. <laughs> all these little names now. <laughs> little scrappy one, two, three, four. <laughs> little baby two, two. Whatever, man. What is, what's up with all that? <laughs> I'm sorry, young people. I'm sorry. I'm just sometimes I'm like, yo, who's that little baby tutu? One eye and lefty. Fetty Wap. Play uh, something like that. Oh. <laughs> so, Master Love, before we close out, I got a big question for you. What's a question you wish that people asked you more? People ask me more? Yeah. Ah, oh, man. How to, how to disconnect to reconnect. So how do you disconnect to reconnect? There you go. That's the thing. Think about this. Taking out a hard drive and then implanting your own hard drive. So disconnecting is, yeah, I know y'all love following social media and looking stuff up, blah, 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 listening to this and boom. Stop looking at the negativity on social media. Look at something positive, man. Stop promoting it. Disconnect from what they're telling you. Black folks, I know they show a lot of us getting shot and getting beat, but which is bad. But it still does something to us up here, too. It makes you angry. You walk around angry. And it's like, unfortunately, they shoot a lot of people. They just implement the black side of it all the time because it makes us mad. It makes us go against the system. It's like, yo, disconnect from that shit. Disconnect. Make you a better person. Disconnect from everything. Watch what you eat. Go watch that movie, They Clone Tyrone. They showed, they told you some truth. They talk about the food, the alcohol, the chicken. The music. The music. Everything. They're mocking us. They're mocking us. They mock the shit out of us. The monitoring. Yeah, they, they, they do it all done because they like us, man. We are powerful beings. They don't want you to know how powerful you are. Really, just start doing more self-meditating. I tell you what, last thing I'm going to give you is take your phone and record positive affirmations about yourself. No matter what, think of yourself as healthy, rich, beautiful, whatever you want, but make it positive. And at night before you go to bed, listen to that. And what you're going to do, you're going to reprogram your self-conscious mind to be a better being that you are. Trust me, try that. Instead of getting self-help from people or listening to these other people, and then listen to your own voice because the frequency of your own voice is your self-conscious mind. Because your self-conscious mind only listens to you. So be powerful. Wake up and do that. And I guarantee you, do that for a week. Hit this man back. I, I challenge anybody to do that and hit this man back and tell you what happened. I promise you. You'll be a complete different person. So, to, to you know, just to help the people, because I don't know what, they could be at many different levels of understanding in their, in their self-development. So, if we could do this together, I'd like to say some self-affirmations for myself. And if you could say some self-affirmations for people to learn. And 
all the great healers will tell you that they're not actually the ones healing healing you it's you who heals yourself so for me here on this beautiful day i'm blessed i'm wealthy i'm living the life that i choose i love myself i love myself beyond doubt i have unconditional faith in everything that i put my energy into i know that what i put my energy into will always pay me back. I know that the people I invest into will always pay me back. I know that if I put love into the world, love will always come back to me. And I know that if I'm open to receiving, I will receive and I am receiving. Thank you. Okay, myself, because I just listened to him and it's a little different. With me, I had to start for me. I am. That's the most powerful thing I can say is, I am. I am. And with yourself, you put I am, and at the end of that, I am, put whatever you want. I am blessed. I am wealthy, but my wealth is health. Health is wealth to me, not just money. I am prosperous through who I am and what I do. That means I will always bring that green thing to me because I'm the prosper. I'm the it. I am the it. I am love. I am positivity. I am life. I am beautiful. I am nature. I am all that I am. And I am free. And free is here. Free your mind and the rest will follow. I'm quoting them in vogue. Look at me. Still in shit for me. <laughs> and my people, stay blessed, be blessed. Have unconditional love and unconditional faith because a lot of you guys have faith when when something's going good yeah. only when something's going good the minute it goes bad your faith goes out the window i had a friend of mine he's a very into god and church and everything like that to each own. but i was like you're 49 years old and you're stressing but haven't your god have taken that care of you for 49 years he looked and goes i said so why would he fail you now he has had your back for 49 years. This man, God is saying, food, I have had your back. And now you're going to stress and worry? Can't you see the path? Can't you see what I've done for you? Open your eyes and then you won't stress. Because when there's light, there's dark. I like the dark. Dark is powerful. I flipped it. Everybody say, everything's done in dark. Dark is, but nah, baby. Dark is where the power is at. When there's light, comes right so all i'm saying i am that i am and that's the biggest thing right there so stay love and mad evolveness i don't tell people i love them like my son i say i evolve you which is love spelled backwards evolve means always ongoing never stopping evolveness that's the word of today is to evolve yourself evolve everybody else stop this love shit evolve it okay now we don't took the fear out of love oh, yeah. see i put a twist on it okay. see i set you up for that because the last thing you're going to remember i evolve it and this tattoo right here it says walk by faith not by sight that's how we walk over here evolveness <laughs> i love it man that's amazing thank you so much for joining me here today Master Love. This is my boy. This dude right here. Hey, this is a man right here. This, not a man. This is a being. This is a being. And y'all watch his transformation. Because right now he's transforming mind, body, and spirit. Follow this dude. I'm following his family right here. This yes, family sir. Now. New fam. Thank you. And yeah, as he said, transform is all about either we're going forward or we're going backward because the only thing constant is change. Thank you so much for the evolvedness, brother. In the name of the I am, we express, and here on the Human Nature Podcast, just remember, y'all, the sun is still shining, the water is still flowing, the wind is still blowing, and we as beings, we're still breathing. So get out there, because we are still living life. Nomadius, going to see you soon. Much love and respect. Peace and power to you. Oh, real quick, before I close out, I forgot to ask you, anything you want to promote about yourself? 
Yvonne. Any socials? Anything? Oh no, man. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not social. Oh, so- <laughs> I'm not, hey, I'm not social. <laughs> I, I'm not. This is to me. This is social right here. This is the most social you're gonna get right here. It is just like yo. It is what it is, man. But bring the camera down a little bit. There you go. But I do have a, a beast mode health and fitness page. If you want to learn any fitness tips and see the crazy stuff I do. On Instagram is Beast Mode Health and Fitness. You can go there. Any any underscores or anything? Just Beast Mode Health and Fitness. Beast Mode Health and Fitness. You got a website? Nah, man, I don't do all that. I it's all good. My girl made me do that. It's all good. We- Beast Mode Health and Fitness. You you see everything on it from the training stuff we do. But I just promote love, man. That's it. That's all I can promote is a hey, you take this and ingest it, inject it into your blood system. Okay. Because when you put it into your system, you can't get it out. Let it be that so-called virus, as they always say, we had a virus or a disease. Uh, but let that be that. So why don't that virus be love? Why don't that virus be evolveness? And let it go through your whole body, man. You'll be like walk around like da 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 da. Because we're all fucking super beings. Okay, need no damn cape. My cape is this. <laughs> How are you guys have it? <laughs> man we just be flowing here on the human nature podcast thank you so much i'll make sure to drop a link to his instagram below i love y'all or else should i say evolveness there you go hey that's a new thing baby take care y'all